The last thing from this chapter is just a little bit of notation. So you can think of a matrix as a vector of vectors. So it's either a row vector where each entry is a column or a column vector where each entry is a row. And uh, this is leads to a sort of way of thinking about the notation. So if we've got um, an M by N matrix, then um, if we take a j comma dot, the dot is like a placeholder meaning blank or anything. You can think of it like a, a wild card. So this guy is going to be a vector of length n, and it's going to be the jth row. of a and so it's kind of like saying we're specifying that the first coordinate has to be j and then the second coordinate is like uh, whatever it wants to be so just take all of them um and we also have if we do um dot comma k whoops dot comma k then this is going to be um a column vector that we get by fixing the columns will be in the case column and then the entries run through all possible rows and there's m rows so it's going to be a vector of length m okay so that's row and and column notation so just for example if we took a to be something like uh, one zero two uh three one minus two two four seven like this then we've got uh so for j equals three right here that would specify this row so this uh vector right here this is a three comma dot because we take all column entries so the second index is is free and so this would be written as the row vector two minus two seven and similarly, if we uh, wanted to fix the column to two and snag this guy right here, then a uh, dot comma two is going to be the column vector three, one minus two. All right, and so um, if you go back now to the definition of matrix multiplication that we saw before, so the fact that the uh, the jkth entry is computed the way it is, this means that it's the same thing as the um, if we took the j comma dot vector and we multiplied it against the c dot comma k vector. And so that you can think of as a, a matrix product in and of itself, like a um, uh, a one by n matrix times an n by one matrix. Um, but this is also the same thing, and I'm gonna write nearly the uh, same thing here, and it's gonna look dumb, except now it's got parentheses and a dot, just to emphasize the fact that here, I'm thinking of this as, as the dot product. All right, so we'll talk more about that sometime later. Um, the other thing that I want to emphasize, and this is important, is that if you look at uh, the product of a matrix times a vector, so let's take C to be our, our vector here, then this is a linear combination of the columns of A with coefficients given by C. And so this, this is a phrase worth uh, memorizing because it'll come up again and again. So this is a linear combination of columns of A where the coefficients in that are playing the scalar role in that uh, linear combination coefficients are given by the C vector.